Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to use the thin lens equation to calculate the image distance size, orientation, and type for a concave mirror. In this case, the object distance, the object is going to be more than half away from the mirror. Okay, here's our problem. It's an object that's 5.7 centimeters tall. It has an object distance of 8.2 centimeters, and the focal length of the concave mirror is 6 centimeters. The first thing to do is write everything down. Now, the focal length is six. That means it's a concave. Well, it doesn't mean it, that's not what it means, but since it is a concave mirror, that means that the focal length is positive. So I want to remind myself there's a difference between concave and convex mirrors, and I put down this is positive. Convex mirrors have a negative focal length. Object distance 8.2, object height 5.7. Well, of course, we want to know the image distance and the image height. Now, I think it's a very good idea before you start these problems make a quick sketch of the situation. This is the situation. We have a concave mirror. It's kind of bulging back this way. I don't really take the time to draw the concave mirror. I put f and 2f. I remind myself that this is 6. This is 12. The object is 8.2 away. So I draw the object. Now I want to ask myself, what should my image distance be approximately? What should the size be, the orientation, and the type? Now I know, and you know from your ray diagrams, when the object is between f and 2f, the image is going to be more than 2f away. So for my calculations, my image distance better be more than 12. My image size better be more than 5.7. It better indicate that it is inverted. Okay? Now, we can go on and do the problem, and if we get those kinds of numbers for answers, then we'll have a good degree of confidence that we did everything right. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with our thin lens equation to get our image distance. 1 over f equals 1 over di, excuse me, 1 over do plus 1 over di. We want to solve for di, so I'm going to subtract 1 over do from both sides. And I get that 1 over di is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over do. And now I can plug my numbers in. 1 over f is 1 over 6. 1 over the do is 1 over 8.2. And I have to keep my minus sign in there. Now, if you have a regular kind of graphing or sign to the calculator, um, you should be able to just put in your calculator 1 divided by 6 minus 1 divided by 8.2, and you get the right answer, which is 1 over the di is equal to 0.417. Now, that's not the di. Some people say, oh, that's the di. No, that is not the di. That is 1 over the di. In order to get the di, I can take the reciprocal of both sides, this side and this side, and I get that the di is equal to 1 over 0.0417. And now I just have to say 1 divided by 0.0417 Give my di and my di is 23.98 and I remember I want it to be more than 12 and that is more than 12 so I feel good about that. So that is the di. Now I can write it down right there and fill that in. Now we can do the image height. Now the image height we're going to do that with the magnification. So first thing we have to do is get the magnification. Magnification is m equals negative di over do. We can just plug our numbers in. Negative 23.98 is the di over 8.2, which is our do, and you'll notice we get a magnification that is minus 2.92. Now, the minus sign tells us that it is inverted, and we want it to be inverted. And this is 3, so it's going to be magnifi magnified by almost 3 times, and we know that it needs to be bigger. Okay, so we know our magnification is 2.92. That's not the size, that's the magnification. Okay, now we can use the other magnification equation to get the actual image height, because this one has the image height in it. So magnification equal to hi over ho. Solving for hi, plug the numbers in that the hi is equal to minus, we want to keep that minus sign, minus 2.92 times 5.7, and we get the image height is minus 16.4. Now that tells us this minus sign that the image is inverted, and this is bigger, so that makes us feel good, because we know that our image is going to be bigger, and it's going to be upside down as it should be. Okay, so now we have everything filled out and figured out. Now we can just go back and look at our diagram we drew earlier. Here was our object. We said the image has to be more than 12. The image distance has to be more than 12. Well, it's actually 23.98. We said the image has to be inverted. Well, that's why we have this negative sign right here, because it's inverted. And we said the image has to be bigger than the object, and it's 16.4, which is almost three times as big as the object. So we should feel pretty confident that everything matched our predictions, and therefore we're confident that we have the right answers. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do that for a concave mirror. Object distance more than F. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you thought that was helpful, leave me a comment in the comment section or a thumbs up down below. Thank you very much. See you next time.